Hey guys, it's Sammy Cat. Welcome back to my channel. Today I was feeling a little bit creative and I wanted to do some cool makeup look, something different on my everyday look. So I got inspired by looking at my new Lemonhead Cosmetics Space Case Palette. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Ah, it is expensive, it's pricey, it's gorgeous. These glitters are phenomenal. This is what the packaging looks like, very secured. And the beauty right here, gorgeous. I look at this palette every day on my vanity and I just am dying to use it. So I got a little creative and I used the red to create this lady in red all makeup look. Something a little fun, something different, something to get my creative juices flowing, not my normal day-to-day -day makeup. So if you're interested in watching how I did this look, keep watching and see how I created it. All right, let's get started. First things first, we are going to hydrate our skin with some moisturizer using the 4th Ray Beauty moisturizer. Ooh. Next, we're going to go in with our Ulta Youthful Glow Primer Serum. Not only is this stuff super pretty, it helps with their skin too. Makes my ma makeup application a lot better. Okay. Since I do have a such pink skin, and look, I just barely put a moisturizer and stuff, and my skin's already red. I love this Ulta Beauty face primer. It's a color correcting one, and it's actually green. See this? Right there. There we go. This actually feels so soft on the skin. Not only does it help neutralize the redness on my skin it also feels really amazing like silk almost we have the color pop pretty fresh in the color light 50 w a little blender Next, I like to do my brows. So, I'm going to be using the Revolution Soap Brow, but I'm going to be using it correctly because I have a little bit of water here that I'm going to be following the directions. And the little applicator. So, I'm going to dampen that. Let's try this out. This is the first time I'm using it correctly. And since I did kind of like a natural brow, I'm going to go in with this brow blade from Urban Decay and just use the little marker to fill in the brows. Alright, use a blender just to kind of wipe a little bit away of that soap. Go in with some ColourPop concealer. Love this stuff, and this is in light 33C. Now I'm gonna prime my eyes with a Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer. And I always use my fingers whenever I put any type of eyeshadow primer on because I feel like the heat eye primer tends to be really like thick and sticky sometimes and like the heat from your fingers really helps blend it out and today I'm gonna be using well starting off with the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette I'm gonna go and start off with the color Chaser right over here right over here Chaser just to start off as like a base over my eyelids and I'm just using this little fluffy brush from NYX. Okay, then I'm gonna follow with Sauced and He Devil, which are, here is Sauced and this is He Devil right there. Thank you. 
So I don't have a lot of eyeliner colors because I tend to use only black, but I want to do a red winged liner. So I'm going to use this right here. I bought this on Amazon. It's a CC Beauty Professional Cosmetics Flash Color Palette. And I'm just going to go in with a little eyeliner brush right here and dip it in a little bit of that water. Rub it into the red right here. See that? And I'm going to create an eyeliner like that on my eye. So I'm not going to worry about how clean it is because I'm going to go over that with some glitter. So this is kind of like my line to follow. Looks something like this. everybody's moment that they've been waiting for well at least me the lemon head cosmetics and i'm going to be going in with this red one i don't know if you can see it right there let me open it up right here that red right there right there i'm going to put a little bit on my hand and then just so i don't dry out the palette and then i'm just going to scoop it up with a brush so i have one of these I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand, right over here, and then use a little tiny brush like this to brush it over on the eyeliner. So what I did was I used the same eyeliner brush and the same red pigment and just drew a little line on both sides over here. I'm going to carefully, 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 carefully put glitter, more red glitter on that side. Okay, sometimes it gets a little messy, so I'm going to go in with a Q-tip, and I'm just going to clean up the edges so they can get a little bit more sharp, okay? So, cleaned up right here with the Q-tip. There's still some glitter around the face area. Don't worry about that. We'll clean that up. Used the same brush to blend it in and then get all the glitter and just fill it all in. Used a finger to tap, tap, tap it in to look something like this. I'm going to make sure that I clean off that brush very carefully. Go in with my little palette in the white and draw a little line around the red. This is a really good brush. This is an e.l.f. little eyeliner brush with that little bent bend in there. It's like really easy to do this. Makes life a lot easier. So you have that right there. Close up all glitter and then the white liner. Gorgeous. Then I went in and I just added the white along this side right here. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to do a little shadow on the bottom with some red. I'm going to use the Blood Sugar Jeffree Star Palette. I know, I know, everything going on. I bought this before and I spent a lot of money on this, so I really want to use this palette. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with the Cherry Soda Red over here. Just going to go something like this. Now we're going to go in with some lashes. I'm going to use these faux mink lashes that I got off of Amazon. Alright, our lashes are on. Now I'm going to go in with some mascara. So I'm going to use the Lash Sensational Sky High. Okay, we're going to do some face. We're going to go in with the Shade Light Kat Von D palette. I know, I've had this for a long time. It's okay. With some Loose Fit Me powder.
I'm not a huge blush, blush person, but I'll use them today. This is just a, what is it, Man Makeup Artist Network palette. Very basic. I'm not huge. I don't use blush, like, too much, so I really don't have a lot of, like, blush colors. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a couple of these really teeny tiny itty bitty can you see them? Little rhinestones. I already dropped like 50 of them and I can't find them anywhere. So I'm going to go in with some lash glue. I'm going to use the duo lash glue just because it's not as strong and they're really tiny. I'm going to put a little bit on my hand, dab them, and then just stick them right around my eye area right here. No lie, that was so difficult to do. These are so tiny. And look, I even got a little bit of lash glue and I couldn't get it off in fear it was going to come off. But I just put a couple right here on the bottom. So hard <laughs> to do that. I lost like 10 of them already. Like, they're gone forever. Have no idea where they went. NYX one, lip liner in Auburn. Your ColourPop Lippy Stick in Bossy. Okay, so furthermore, looking at it, I didn't like the bright red, so I just went in with this NYX Liquid Suede in the color... What color is this? Cherry Skies. And I think it looks a lot better. I feel like it leave a little more sultry, so I have this Maybelline Precise Skinny eyeliner, and I'm just going to line the bottom of my eyes. And this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching me mess up and then recreate this awesome makeup look, make sure you like and subscribe to this video. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Everything is at SammyCat.